Hey hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going over Q4 of the recent weekly contest 214, Create Sorted Array Through Instructions. So this one, um, I find really weird to be honest. Uh, let's tell me people solved it about an hour in to the contest. Uh, I find this one really weird because there are definitely many ways to do it. And I urge that a lot of you, um, you know, solve it, uh, up solve it at home, even after I tell you how I did it, because I don't know if I recommend the way that I did it per se. I mean, for a contest, do what you need to do, but it's a little bit weird. And I want to see also my submission time later to see whether it, um, whether it just makes sense or whether how close I am. But the first thing to notice about this problem is that, you know, you have to mod it because, uh, and the first thing that if you look at my, uh, when I code it, the first thing that I write is the mod because I always uh, forget about the mod. So I kind of make sure I write it and I also add, you know, total mod the mod for that reason. But this is a really weird problem in the sense that um, in C++, in, in Python, uh, in Java and maybe and other languages probably I just I'm not as familiar with the APIs uh, definitely have definitely have library functions that let you do this so it ends up being a library problem I don't think it's intended that way necessarily but that's the way that I solved it um, I in for me and actually to be honest I spent let's see I spent about four minutes on this problem I spent about a minute and a half Googling uh, sorted list because I I'm Sort of list is not a data structure that I use way often, so I had to make sure I was correct about the syntax, and I didn't want to get off by ones and stuff like that. So I just, um, so I had to, um, so I had to Google it just to make sure. But after that, you know, the instruction is just literally the number of elements that are strictly less than the instruction i, and the number of elements elements that are strictly greater than it, and. That is, like I said, a library function in sorted list. The bisect left lets you get, um, given the element, the, um, from zero to that index that gets returned, those are the number of elements that are smaller than x. That's the definition of sort, sorted list and by, by, bisect left. And bisect right is the one that's after that, is that given that number, um, we turn the number of elements that are bigger than, um, or oh, sorry, the index to insert that is bigger than it. So if you uh, subtract it from the n, that, that, so from that index right to the index of, uh, it's not n because it, it depends on how many elements are in the list, but to, to the end of the list, that's the number of elements that are to the, that are strictly greater than this item. So once you combine them, it becomes a really easy total. We add this function uh, and that's pretty much it. And then you mod it the end. Actually, and I could have, and probably to be honest, done this, but it both, um, and I think in different languages, maybe you could have failed and maybe a silly mistake to be honest. Um, but in Python, you have big in, so you don't have to worry about it. It would have, and if you use long, it would have fit in long anyway, because this is at most n square. Um, because if you just do like, you know, if you just keep on thinking, adding stuff in the middle, uh, it'll be n square anyway. So it'll fit in long. So you, you don't have to worry about big ends. Um, but this is how I did it. And this is, you know, looking at the code, you can see how this took four minutes. And even then it was probably a little bit slow for uh, given this code. Um, but... Uh, Um, yeah, uh, so I would say I don't think that this is the intended solution. Uh, I will talk about a couple of other things you could have done. Well, one is you could have created your own sorted list uh, from scratch, and there are ways to do it. Um, maybe you could do uh, you could do use a balance tree that allows you to do, to basically use these things as API. But basically, you're just creating your a, your own abstract data structure to answer these two queries. Because no matter what you do, it's always going to be these two queries. But it's just going to be abstract data structures. Another way you could have done it is using the binary index tree, uh, something that is actually only like, you know, you only have to add like another ten lines of code. So maybe that's actually reasonable during an interview. But again, on a contest, I'm not going to spend time on that uh, because I was like, this is good enough. Uh, another way you could have done it is 
using segment tree. Uh, you can do a lot of things with segment tree, but also that it takes way too long. And unless you have a pre-win solution, um, I wouldn't do that during the contest. Uh, well, I mean, if you have to, you have to. But um, but those are the things that I would think about. Uh, again, this is a little bit weird, but um, but yeah, but I I would think about upsolving it that way if you want to really challenge yourself because for hard, you know, um, it's not that hard if you just use the library. But all you know, um, if you're focusing on learning, if you're focusing on learning, you know, you have to be honest with yourself. That's number. That's step one of learning is that you have to, you know, you. You don't just like chalk this up to another hard self, you know, really challenge yourself, make sure you upsell it, make sure you understand why it's in the house of different algorithms. And, and yeah, um, that's all I have with this one. Um, I could, I'm going to go over the complexity real quick because I guess I didn't do it. But we for each instruction, we, it's all of one, obviously. Uh, and, oh, sorry. The, we do O of N iteration. So this is going to be O of N, the bisect, uh, the bisections are going to be uh, log n, so it's going to be n log n at the at, at the worst case. And given that n is only ten to the fifth, n log n is going to be fast enough. In terms of space, this is going to be O of n. So yeah, so O of n space of n log n time, and that's Q four. Uh, let me know what you think. You can watch me solve this live during the contest, but to be honest, it's as boring as this seems, so I don't know. But, you know, you can always just cheer me on. Uh, let me know what you think, and I will see y'all next next time. But, yeah, bye-bye. Okay. Oof. That was a hard one. Uh, people already finished, probably 26 people finished. Wow. And I have a 10-minute penalty because I'm dumb. Five minutes would have been okay, but I was 10 minutes is dumb. I rushed it. Total cost in It seems like in certain languages we would be using. Uh, let's forget how, what. So that is the right form of it. To mod up. This is actually way easier, but I just have to get the make sure I get the library right.
Maybe it times out. That'll be funny. But that was a. Ah, thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and we'll chat about stuff later. <laughs> bye bye.